We must stop preaching what people want to hear. I mean, we must organize and march through our city proclaiming Jesus is Lord and we must stand. That truth is not only love, healing, and prosperity. It's also about getting up. Hi, my name is Dr. Terry Jones and this is the Braveheart Show. A couple of days ago, Islam was in the news again. A priest in Moscow was assassinated. A radical Muslim carrying out orders that are in the Quran walks into the church, asks for the pastor by name. The pastor comes forward and the man shoots him in cold blood. The assassin does not even run out of the building. He does not even try to hide. He just simply turns around and walks out. It shows the state of our society, our, our world, that a person can be in a negative way so bold, so convinced of what they are doing, that they just simply walk into a building, shoot someone in cold blood, a person who was known to be outspoken against the violence, against the lies of Islam. That, that is something that happened many, many miles away from us in Moscow and Russia. But if we do not stand up, if we do not do something, it will happen and has happened right here in the United States of America. In, in several of our states, we have seen, we have heard of honor killings. On our own military base, a person who was a major just walks in and kills 13, 13 people. Well, what is the problem with Islam? Actually, the problem with Islam is that they are, they are doing their job. They're, they are, number one, aggressive. They are evangelizing. They are carrying out orders of Muhammad, of the Quran, to, to, not, only, to not only convert the unbeliever, but also they have nothing against being a suicide bomber, that is, that is considered in a family a great honor. They have no problem killing their own children if they feel those children have dishonored the family. They have no problem run, walking into a church, which should be a holy place, a sacred place, a, a, a man of God, killing that person in cold blood. They want to take over the world. They want to establish Islamic law. And, and what are we doing? What is the church worldwide doing? If you study the history of the church. And right now we are in the process of bringing out a book that is called Islam is of the Devil. In that book we talk about Church history, we, we see that there is, in the United States of America, basically no church left. We see how the church started out radical, talking to people, pa pa paying any price that was necessary to see people get saved, to see the gospel spread. The, the, the early church was killed, crucified. But they could, they could not be stopped. What does the church look like today? What do the churches look like around the nation? Right here in our own city in Gainesville, Florida? What do they look like? Well, what do they advertise? Well, what do they do? Are they out talking about forgiveness? Or are they standing up for, for social issues? Abortion? 
same-sex marriage. Well, what are they doing? Our churches in America are no longer churches. They have become clubs. They, they, they advertise. They do, they do not advertise salvation. They do not advertise the changed life. They, they, they do not say, repent, change, come, come to God. They, they advertise a fall fest. Having a fall fest of fun cookies and games is not, is not building the kingdom of God. Islam wants to establish Islamic law. But basically, basically our vision in America at one time, the people who came here, the pioneers, to establish Christian law, to have our government, to have our society based upon the Ten Commandments. They, they, they were even part of our school system. The, the original schools used the Bible as a textbook. We have had the Ten Commandments at our courthouse. We have, in the meantime, removed them. We have removed the Bible from school. We, we have tried to erase Christianity, our foundation, from every aspect of, of our society. It is no wonder Islam is taking over. They are not taking over. We, 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 are, we are giving it to them. Because we have lost our, our compassion. We would rather have hobbies in our churches. We would rather provide programs than have compassion for, for the lost. We have become humanistic. We have become people churches. We have become just like the society. We have become just like the business, the grocery store, the restaurant. Give the people what they want. What do they want? Give it to them. That's what's the church. The church is becoming humanistic. The church is full of pastors whose only desire is to, is to, is to please the people. In fact, we don't really have pastors. We have, motivational, we have motivational speakers who on Sunday morning occupy the pulpits. We have become non-offensive. We do, we do not want to offend anyone. We have become politically correct. We choose our words. We will make sure that no one is offended. The Bible itself is offensive. The, the very verse that we use as a foundation of the Bible, of our Christianity, is actually offensive. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that we might not be damned, go to hell, but have eternal life. That's offensive. That, that, that says we need someone. That says that we, we are sinners. We have, we have fallen short. We need help. The, the, the Bible says that, that we are sinners. The Bible says we, we need to repent. The Bible says that we are far away from God and we have to come to God. The Bible says that if we don't, we will die and go to hell. That is offensive. But we, we no longer do that. We, we, no longer church, we no longer preach the Bible in our churches. Our churches are no longer churches. Our churches are clubs. Our goal is no longer salvation, change life, society, speak up, stand up. Our purpose has become not to... Rock the boat. Not to stand out. Our purpose has become to get along with everybody. Have, have peace. Uh, have programs and, and have, have fun and entertainment for the adults and for the children. We have lost our calling. Our calling is to reach the world. Our calling is not only to preach truth. But we must go out beyond our walls and we must stand for truth. We must demonstrate for truth. We must do it before it is too late. Thank you.